story that you'll see only right here on Good Day Colorado this morning. We actually told you a little bit about a cute local puppy story a couple of weeks ago, but we thought there was a much bigger story here behind the headline. It's really about the loss of two beloved dogs, and we just had to share it with you. This is Merlin and Abby. Both worked right alongside the Larimer County Search and Rescue Team for years, and both of them passed away within a week of each other. As you can imagine, it's a devastating loss, and that was back in June. But now, some good news. The team's welcoming some brand new recruits, and they're here in studio to make their debut. Kirk's with them over there. Well, we've got humans. Dan, yeah. Wendy, and Karen, thank you all for coming in, along with uh, the pups here. You know, we heard about this story, and we just said we got to get these pups in here because it's so tough that you all lost some dogs. That's got to be very difficult. And you spent so much time training. I hear you. I'm with you. We'll introduce you in a second. You spent so much time training them and working with them, they probably become really close friends with everyone. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a big loss to our team. And, and you can't replace them. No. But you sort of have to replace them. You're right. I mean, yes. how does the process go? A lot of training. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of training. Mm -hmm. And um, Ma Max here was donated to okay. us uh, by Caliber Canines out of Kersey, Colorado. And they had seen that we had lost a couple dogs. So their owner was very touched by that and donated Max. And then Dan has Milo here that he's been training. And then Karen had gone clear to Seattle to, to get her puppy. So, so cute. We're looking at about 2,000 hours of training to get each dog, you know, certified and, and up and ready to, to find people. Is that right, Dan? Mm -hmm. I mean, it takes that much training, and you've been working. So, is, are you usually assigned a dog to a specific person to no, train? No, they are. We find our own dogs. They are our family pet. They live wow. with us. We are, a, we will be a team. Yeah. We field together. We live together. <laughs> So they're your, they're your companions. I mean, mm -hmm. they really are. And yeah. what, what kind of training, Wendy, are we talking about? I mean, is this agility training? Is this the sniffing, smelling training? It, it's training our dogs to find people that are, that are lost in yeah. the wilderness or even in urban areas. So really, it's a very elaborate game of hide-and-seek. <laughs> and we start with, with little hide-and-seek games, and then we build up to the point where the dogs can travel for miles. Wow. You know, we will uh, maybe have them smell the coat <clears throat> of a missing person or a sock or a shoe, and then the dog will actually take us to the missing person. That's an amazing so, ability that these dogs have. It is. And uh, she is so young. How young do you guys, am I allowed to pet her, by the way? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, might, you might get bit, <laughs> but of course I ask. she has puppy teeth. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Is, is she's so rambunctious. She's obviously a puppy. Right. How young are they when you first start training them? Well, she's only nine weeks old right now. And right now we're going to socialize her, uh -huh. um, get used to other dogs, other people. Uh, the situation here is really good for her. And then we'll do obedience, and then we'll probably get into the actual training of um, tracking and, and looking for people. She's not biting you. She's puppy gnawing you. Yeah, she, you want to look at my hands? <laughs> Two very different things. Puppies just gnaw on everything. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you guys so much. I, I know it was tough losing some of your companions, but mm -hmm. it's, it's so nice of you all to bring in the new ones here, and we appreciate the work that you guys do training them because, as we know, here in Colorado, unfortunately, this is a resource that we desperately need to have. And uh, y'all are, are very important to uh, people that get lost, families that lose their loved ones. And, and sometimes <laughs> you guys are the resource that helps track them down. Mm -hmm. I hear you. He mm -hmm. wants attention. He's like, camera one on me. Put camera <laughs> one on me. We'll get over to you, Greg. I thought you were going to bring your pup in today. Uh, I was going to bring the puppers in, and then I woke up too late. And you know how that is. So. <laughs> you know, yes, when you got to be in it.